are you there? I hope you are there. I'm gonna try vlogging for the last year of my life. You guys don't know, I have been doing YouTube for coming on 15 years. I'm loving this like dark brownie lip that I've got going on. It really does look like I'm wearing a chocolate lip. I'll put the combo in the description bar below, but it kind of suits me. I feel like I'm giving like brown, brown, just brownie. Let's just call it brownie. I've been on YouTube for about 455 years. I am 36 years old. I have grown up on this platform and it's my birthday month and so much has happened. So much, so much, so much has happened. And last year was a difficult one. I'm gonna say it was just a little bit chaotic. And I feel like you can tell it was chaotic by how I was showing up on my platforms. And I really am like one, slowing down as a person. I've had to learn to slow my brain down, to slow my ideas down, and just to slow myself down and learn to do more by doing less. And in a world, and you know, I'm the author of flipping heart and hustle, right? But as that person, I recognized things needed to change because I became completely and utterly overwhelmed with life, life's responsibilities, and just trying to show up for myself and other people. One of the things people always say to me all the time is, how do you do it all? And the reality is you don't, there is no doing it all. And social media is gonna make you feel like everybody has got all their stuff together. You don't know what is crumbling behind the scenes and so like even me saying okay i'm committing to making content consistently on all platforms is because i'm actually trying to be more focused on what's important to me and my community my audience my content was important to me was something that gave me so much joy and i started to overthink and wasn't able to do it so it's actually a personal challenge for me to remember to find that kind of freedom I had in creating that I had when I was 20 years old, just doing it while doing a ton of other things. But yeah, hi, we are back. This month's about to be a good one. It's my birthday month. I'm going to Dubai, I'm going to New York. It's Valentine's month. And my daughter said to me right now, mommy, you look so good. I'm like, thank you, baby. One thing about the kids, when they compliment you, it's, you know it's true because when I walked in with my short haircut, she was like, I don't like it. When I walked in with my eyebrows done, she was like, what's wrong with your eyebrows? So when my daughter says, mommy, you look good, I know I look good. Anyway, it's about five o'clock in the evening and I, I'm going to the gym. A lot of people have noticed the changes in my body. I talked about it in a more sit down video and I feel great, I feel great, and I'm committed to my physicality. And like, when you commit to your physicality, if everything can change, like, I'm telling you, baby, 36 ain't never looked so good. People really thought that when you become like mid thirties, going on 40, that you die. Whereas I feel like I look better than, this is the best I've ever looked in my life. Like, come, no, baby. Don't let anybody fool you, please, please. Like, mm, period. Like, what? Snatch. And um, yeah, I ate less. Yeah, I moved more. And yeah, I bang the weight. So that's what we're gonna go and do now. Gonna find myself at the gym, and I'm just gonna be showing you everything I'm into, everything I like right now. My hair is thriving, my skin is thriving, my body is thriving. And the most important thing for me is that my head is in the game and it feels really good. So I'm back better than ever, be ready. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you're following, make sure you catch me on TikTok, make sure you catch me on Instagram, I'm on every platform, okay? And you know what's something really crazy that I wanna do and it's a little bit def different? I've been thinking about doing a book Bible study and I've been thinking about doing like a prayer meeting, like we do it live. And I know that's weird and people don't do it, but something is like, Patricia, we should do that. So if that's something you're into, let me know in the comments and maybe we just host it. Like we host it with my, guys who are about that and yeah we get together because spiritual health is important anyway she's in the gym tonight and make sure you check out my description box i'm going to put links to everything in there love you all let's work out Do 
original probiotic. Kefir, if you're not lactose intolerant, kefir is amazing. This hurts. A lot of people ask me about my weight loss. There is no secret sauce. You just eat less. And I have stopped my obsession with food. I used to be so obsessed with food. Now I just eat for like sustenance and I'm girl dinnering away. I love this salad. It's from M&S, the super green salad, best tasting salad and the sauce bangs. I got some chicken breast and I got some crackers. I know it doesn't look the most appeasing, but all I need is some scotch bonnet sauce and it's a dream dinner. I am really girl dinnering it and I feel like I got to a place where I just don't have a lot of time to cook like a crazy person. I cook for the girls, but they'll have like pasta and potatoes and chicken and greens. And for myself, I'll probably just eat something like this. Like it's girl dinner. It does what it needs to do. The chicken is spicy. The crackers are crackering. We're good. Mm. I'm gonna have this for dessert. There is no secret recipe guys. Just eat less, up your protein, reduce your carbs. Simple. Good morning. Oh my God, I'm tired. You've all assumed that there's something healthy in this Stanley cup. No, it's coffee. Mm -hmm. It's required. I have a day of meetings. I've dropped the kids off at school. I love doing the school run in the morning. It just energizes you. It can be stressful, but I just get it done. It's like my day. I'm dressed and ready. And it's all before like eight o'clock in the morning. Like this is my new energy because it has to be done. I have no choice. My outfit, I'm going into London, I'm driving. I'm going to link this H&M jacket in the description box. I've been wearing this jacket every day and there's the beige version so warm and I just feel so elegant when I wear it. Such a good jacket and it goes really well with my Hermes bag. I might even bring this to like, I'm going to New York, so I think I might take it with me. I've got these Uggs as well. Like they are actually, actually eating and I have no makeup on. The season of wearing a full B on a daily basis, that season is over. That season is over. I've got a hat, I feel like I wanna wear a hat the baseball cap. Why do I feel like a baseball cap is, I don't know why, I'm in the mood to wear a baseball cap. Do you know what? I think I'm gonna do a baseball cap. Just because I don't have a full face on. I don't even know what this is. I don't even know. It's just like four fingers, but there. I don't know why, I like that. Because obviously, like to blend my hair like, really well, it's a little difficult when I don't have my makeup on. But I'm just ready to go. We're gonna talk in the car, but yeah, this jacket, saving my life. And guess what? I'm on time, or I'm even early. My new energy is about just showing up for myself and others respectfully on time or early. Here in Japan, they say, if you're on time, you're late. And I wanna be that kind of person, like, no, 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 we've got stuff to do. The work is working, the life is life in, let's move. I'm gonna sit here as a Nikki fan and a Megan fan to say, I can't believe how triggered she was. Like, don't be that triggered. I think this is the key sign of this thing, leave silently. This leave silently is probably one of the greatest pieces of advice I've ever heard and Nikki could have just kept quiet and this is a, a sign especially as a woman who's an over speaker saying nothing sometimes is the best thing to say honestly because you look better you look better be quiet don't say a word don't say a word oh because Nikki looks triggered I think this applies in so many things in life keep your peace don't tell that long text be quiet quiet your mouth big cry this morning. I've decided pretty girls don't cry for long. I decided to get myself together. I have an event today. I have work that I need to do today. So I just have to get on with life. And you know what? It's pretty good. You have to reflect on the positive things. And actually tonight I have an event with GHD and I'm using the new Kronos. I'm gonna show you guys the new Kronos here. 
I love this tool. You guys know I've been HDA ambassador for the longest and they always come out with great tools and this is one of their newer ones. Literally, I can do my hair so fast and this barrel is great for curling. Like I'm always looking for the straightener that I can curl with. I really wanna do like big bouncy curls, which I know is like back and I'm so excited for it. And the Cronus is so great for curling, but also it's great on my real hair. I use it on my natural hair as well, as well as on my hair extension. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna use the Bodyguard Heat Styler as well. And we're just gonna give this hair some bounce. I haven't decided which direction I want to curl my hair in. I think we're gonna have to curl it out. Let's curl it outwards. We are gonna curl it outwards. My birthday comes round and I don't know how to feel, but I'm deciding this birthday, I'm gonna feel good about it. The last time I had a party was when I was 30 years old. It was a different season. Oh, look at those results. Can you see the shine? The shine, wow. I haven't curled my hair for like, maybe like a month. And like, just look at that curl. Come on, Cronus. I'm even gonna pin it. So oh, beautiful. This is gonna look so good. You see, doing your hair just gives you that confidence. Like, honestly, even if you're having a bad day, wake up, wash your face, do your hair, put some clothes on. Pretty girls are not allowed to be sad. I recognize that the last time I had a big party was when I was 30. A lot of those people are not in my life anymore. Things change, but do you know what? It also means that things change for the better. So here's to being blessed to have another year when others do not. Thoughts while curling my hair. Gotta have them. I can curl my hair and straighten my hair so fast, so well. Oh, and I should say, I use the bodyguard all over on my real hair as well as my hair extensions. I'm just going to leave it in this motion while I straighten my hair. My face is done for the day. I'm going out tonight. I literally love what I've done. I'm gonna put it on TikTok. I'll put the details of what I put on my face in the description box below, but this might be my best makeup of the year. Yes, we are starting it off strong. Whenever I film, I make such a mess. So I'm gonna clean up now and I'm gonna show you how I pack because now I pack like a bloody pro. She's a bloody pro! Sorry, I'm very loud. Anyway, now I've, I've decided I hate mess. I can't stand mess. I hate chaos. And the rules of success is Tidy as you go along. Tidy as you go along, okay? That's what we do. It's just easier in the long run, babies. Baby, 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 baby. packing cubes and being organized have changed the game. I know every look, I have pictures. I swear I'm a new person and my name is basically, I'm extremely chaotically organized and that's what it is. I'm in love. Help me try and be a good vlogger guys. We are in Dubai. We already went out for last night. It was a Friday's birthday. It was bottles and bottles and bottles. It was vibes. There was a dance floor. People were dragging me into the middle. I was like, I would not I don't dance for money. I will pay the dancers because they deserve to be paid for their hard work, but I am not dancing for money. It's not for me. But now we are going to White Beat. Hi. Hello. Yes, hi. Thank you so much. Fine, thank you. Someone called me about the spa today, but on my itinerary, my spa was meant to be tomorrow, not today. So yeah, it was, I could see on my itinerary it was tomorrow at 11. And then we wanted to go to White Beach. Yeah, how do we get there? White Beach is, um, I didn't even think that's where you can go from inside. I would recommend this right now. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. The service here is always so lovely. I still like the people in Dubai. But it's because it's a melting pot of people from everywhere. And then they're just so warm. But maybe that's because they're from the Philippines and you know that's different energy. Who knows? Everyone's from different places here. Sometimes 
you have a salad and you're like, like a salad. Look, the salad. The salad says it. There's no one here. It's so quiet in January and it's late. Eating has continued and now we have the most gorgeous dessert. Oh my god. Joe is dying and Maureen's so mad that she's not here. Oh my god, is it nice? Why is this spoon so big? Mmm! Lemon yogurt. I don't even it. like lemon, but yeah. that's good. Nuts. Wow. Honey. So good. Mine is like white chocolate and raspberry, which is my thing. Let's eat. Let's eat. Manjare. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's go. Layer number one is crunchy. Oh my god. Wow. 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 Mm. Good. I'll tell you, have some. Oh my god, it's so good. Is that ice cream? I don't know what that cream is. The food here is so good. Double fisting for the food. Thoughts of the day for my young ladies watching. Don't be afraid to get older. Drink your water. Keep drama out of your life. You're going to look better than ever and feel better than ever. And you can have money to live your best life as you want to. This is me five years later. Close to my birthday. I swear. I feel like I'm finally growing into a face that doesn't look like a baby. Dubai, staying at the Atlantis. I swear I've only shared clips from my phone because the enjoyment has been enjoyment in. And actually today is the last day. I will give you an amazing recap of everything that went down. From our first night we landed, my sister came around and we ended up at a friend of ours party. Shout out to Crep, it was his birthday. We went, oh my God, I can't actually remember what happened. Like, what actually happened? Well, I, when I tell you I underpacked, I'm with Joe. shout out to Joe. Hey, I completely underpacked. I only brought bedazzlement and sparkles. There was no in between. It was bedazzled or it was casual and it was bikini. Just cause I knew that I really wanted to do like looks and looks and looks for my birthday. And then Maureen ended up like bringing me some clothes. Gorgeous items that I was like, okay, we'll wear this. You we went out night one. It was a whale of a time. We were just outside in the clubs. Like, oh Lord, we didn't get home till the sun rose. I think both nights the sun rose. It's very interesting to be involved in all of that and then the next day we've had lunches and dinners and been by the beach and more really cute outfits and then now we're going to be taking it a little bit slower i'm going to drop all the clips in so you can see the enjoyments but i want to show you my view from the atlantis here it is visually dubai is so strong i can't lie cannot lie so there are actually two atlantises at the hotel i actually stayed here before when Grace was a baby with Mike. It's actually so cute and perfect for families. But then there's also the Atlantis, the Royal. Two different hotels, two different vibes. We've been here for three days and we haven't hit the aquarium one time. Joe, what? In a diamond shop. We didn't even see the diamonds. Period. Do you want me to get you this one? Yeah. Please, can I get that? Please, can I get that? I need this. That's fire. That hits. Okay. One thing about Dubai, they're gone bling. They're gonna bling, your eye is gonna shine. One thing you're, you're gonna go to. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna look at the emerald. Oh, oh, sorry, I didn't realize the window was here. <laughs> They're all looking gorgeous. Not me smashing into the window, guys. The man just jumped up, like, who's trying to break the glass? Me. Whoopsie. See Daisy. But right in front of me, you'll see the aquarium, which is what this place is known for. Like just looking at an aquarium, it makes me think 
about traveling and experiences because the stingrays are so beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that stingray. Wow. It just reminds me of like the Maldives and like being away. It's so cute, I don't know. Unless you want to go and enjoy somewhere tropical just to be one with the fishes. really nice time here with Mike and Grace because Neva wasn't born but like I have big flashbacks about it now. Get you a friend who likes to order food because know that we have four mains. Do we have four mains? Yes we do. We got four mains because we're about to eat. We got tea. Oh, we've done way too much. We've done way too much. We've got lobster. We've got lamb. We've got fish and chips. We are that hungry but we've got all of it. I'm starving. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Peppercorn sauce for the no? Little girls eat the most. Like, we eat like grown men. Yes, facts. Battle me. Let's 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 do an eating match. Can you eat what I eat? If you can't, I don't know what to tell you. Staying at Atlantis the Palm, just had a beautiful lunch, but there's basically a shuttle. This is a shuttle that takes you to the other Atlantis. We've got our driver, he said, welcome to our home. And then it's actually a really amazing bus. Trust it's, of course, this kind of bus. Look at this. Joe. So we're going to Nobu now. Okay, guys, it's a little dark. The sun has set. We're back at Nobu by the beach. We had dinner here. It was the best dinner ever. It's just so gorgeous. If I show you the view, this is actually the Atlantis Royal, which is slightly different. Look behind us. It might be the most glamorous hotel i've ever seen so literally we're just doing like a little skincare video there's nobody by the beach the thing is right is when you're here you don't have to leave the resort literally ever which if you are a lazy traveler like i am i'm okay with that i've done all the tourist stuff in my life i just like to sleep eat and be merry so yeah we're just chilling and enjoying right now vibes let me like literally show you the, the view in front of me you need to be inspired by things that look good and this is what i'm inspired by so this is the atlantis at night and remember that video of beyonce performing and she's like oh, this is the space guys how amazing this we're gonna go to louis vuitton see something get something this hotel as well thing about dubai when i say they do it bigger and better they do it bigger and better no lie Y'all haven't seen Maureen for a long time. <laughs> We're eating Lebanese. Maureen and Joe have bonded. We have. Over being the all the gals <laughs> who don't like pictures. Joe is named Oliver Joe for fish. talking about fish, stew, and yam. We're and in the Lebanese restaurant. <laughs> How? I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And then we have an extreme amount of well, butters. We've, had, we've consumed a lot. Of and I think we're allergic to 50% of it potentially. I'm sliding down easy. <laughs> We'll deal with the consequences afterwards. <laughs> I was just saying, I just can't eat like all this food. Like we've been eating so much. I need to not eat for like five days. <laughs> Joe's just done. I'm more, burning off. More, more energy. <laughs> more passion. <laughs> they keep saying it. Oh, twin flames. Oh, you twin flames. I would ask you your star sign, but I don't actually know shit about star sign. I don't believe in them anyway, so. I've basically uh, said there's too much food here. The ambiance is ambiancing and capturing ambiance. 